During the installation of your EOS HD system, each EOS HD headset or belt pack was registered with a base station. If you add a new or repaired headset or belt pack, it must be registered before it can be used. Please note that the lights on the headset or belt pack will flash red when they are powered on if they are not yet registered. Let's get started. First, press any of the triangular buttons on the base station to illuminate the home screen. Press the menu button on the lower left corner of the screen. On the main menu screen, press the register headsets button. Please note that a maximum of 15 headsets or belt packs can be registered to the base station. If the maximum number is reached, the base station headset registration screen will indicate that zero more headsets can be registered. To register additional headsets, you need to clear the inactive ones. Please refer to the EOS HD headset quick start guide for the steps to clear inactive headsets, then continue. If there are registrations available on the headset registration screen, press the register headsets button. Next, follow these two steps to put the headset or belt pack into registration mode. First, power off the headset or belt pack by holding the power button for three seconds. Then, press and hold the power button for five seconds. Please note that the instructions on the base station to register headset screen are an alternative way to put the headset or belt pack into registration mode. You will see a flashing red and green light above the headset control panel and hear a voice in the headset state, Registration. On the belt pack, two red lights will flash next to the A1 and A2 buttons. Then, complete the registration on the base station. If you are registering only one headset or belt pack, on the To Register Headset screen, press the Register Single button. If you are registering more than one, press the Register Multi button. Once the headset or belt pack is registered, the light on it will turn solid green, and the ID number will appear on the base station screen. You are now ready to use your headset. To learn more, visit us online or call the HME Technical Support Team.